about 13 miles from downtown Atlanta. Welcome to Truist Park. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies going up against the Atlanta Braves. Almost ready to get underway. Our starting pitcher in this one, Spencer Strider. Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. No ball. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. Some heat there at 98 miles an hour. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Trey Turner at the plate. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. All one's the count. Good eye right there. That's ripped. Base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the play. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Over to first, and he saved. And now, here is Harper. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And the righty deals. Swing and a grounder foul first base side. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. A well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. And now it's Alec Bohm. First pitch, not close. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts hey. on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Turner off of first with two away. Swing and a one miss. Ball. And the count is one and two. Got him swinging. One left for Philadelphia. And now the Braves will get their first crack at it. No score. Back here in Atlanta. And starting this one, Aaron Nola. How about a scouting report on him? Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. He'll elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. And there's a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Everything came together for him. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field. It doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. That's in there. Strike one. Nola throw to first. Oh, Acuna dead. dives back in. Acuna hung up in a rundown now. Tries oh, to get dead. back and save. And the right-hander deals. 
Runner oh, goes awesome. again. Real Muto throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. And that's ripped for a base hit. Coming home. Now a long throw home. Not in time. He beat it, and they've got the lead. On the board first, it's one zip. Well, it was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock. You add a run. Here's Austin Riley. Throw over to first. Hey. There's a strike. When Nola was in college at LSU, he got a chance to play with his brother, Austin, who was the team's shortstop, and as well, his roommate was Alex Bregman. Check on the runner. Albies dives hey, back in. Austin Riley, a guy that's turned into one of the young stars in the National League. Chris, he's got big-time power. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. He's got power, and he's also been able to develop the glove defensively. Another guy that Ron Washington... Albies on the move. Pitch misses. One ball. Real mutual throws. Not in time. It's a stolen base. Well, you can't fault the defense for not paying enough attention. They threw over a few times, but he just waited it out, kept his timing. He was able to swipe the bag. Nice job of base running right there. Nola picks over Albies back on a dive. No outs, runner on second. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. We found a way to just get it by him. And now Matt Olson up to hit. And that one is lifted in the air. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. As a run scores. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run. And that was always going to be a double, but the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. And it's second with one away. Here's a big power threat. Marcelo Zuna. And first offering is fouled off. And there's a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Ball one, one ball. there. Two strikes. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. Oh. And they get the out. Here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it... No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. And to the... All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in, Bryson Stock. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. The 1-0. And that one wrapped foul. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, Tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And a 1 1. That's a strike. Two. One ball, two strikes.
Lifted in the air right center field. And Acuna able to make the grab. And now it is JT Real Muto. First oh, offering and it just misses. JT Real Muto singing has turned into arguably the top catcher in all of baseball. He's won multiple gold gloves, multiple silver sluggers, same story, multiple times an all-star. This guy is fun to watch. The 1-1 is fouled off. A tremendous athlete behind the dish, and this is a guy that probably could play any position on the infield if they needed to, as well as the outfield. He's got great speed as a catcher, can steal some bases, can drive in runs, but most importantly, he takes that pitching staff where they need to go. One, two now. On the ground. Albies over to first in time. Two up, two down at the top of the second. The right field, number eight. Nick. Two outs, base is empty. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. Ahead 0-2 in the count, sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Next offering misses, 1 and 2 to count. Swing and a miss, the velocity blasted it right past him. Phillies down in order, and they're down 2-0. Jeff Hoffman comes on now. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better yeah, ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. The pitch. Sean Murphy in now. Takes ball one off the plate. And the 1 0. -oh. Down the right field line. That's a base hit. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. So, man aboard. Here's Eddie Rosario. On the ground to first, could be two. Over to Turner for one. On to first, double play. The 3 6 1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first, and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect, and right there, they made it look pretty easy. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia, number 50, getting ready to go. The pitch. Right side. Castellanos gets under it. That is the inning. After two, it's a two-nothing ball game. Top half of the third inning. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh. The pitch. Bounced out to short. And it gets by him. Singy, that's a start. Yeah, as soon as that ball got through, I could see down in the dugout, guys pumping their fists. They know that they got a chance in this ball game. And here is Johan Rojas. Check swing, and that's a ball. Now move to first. Marsh back easily. The 1-0. That one the other way. Base hit into the outfield. 
Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. A couple of singles back to back. Showing a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumped, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Ball one, no strikes. Just off the outside part of the plate. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. A swing and a miss. And that's strike one. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. The next offering misses. And the count is three and one. Trey Turner up next. And that one hit to first. Over to Arcia. That's one. Can't hang on. Two on, one out. Trey Turner now in the infield at the corners. Don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. New pitcher for the Braves, Rysel Iglesias. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Now we'll look down to first. And yes, he did. He went around. Rudders are at the corners. One away. To third. Slides, but he can't come up with it. One runs in. Here comes Schwarber around third. Throw cut off. Now to the plate. It's offline, and he scores. We are tied at two. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. <laughs> one out, runner at second. Here's Harper now. His first at bat was a strikeout. And that one fouled off. One out and a runner at second. That one's in there. That's strike two. Stays alive. Next pitch inside. Going to count one and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And a one-two. And a swing and a miss. And now two gone. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Two outs and one in scoring position. The next pitch misses. One and one. Line drive, that's a base hit. Flying around third is Turner. Play at the plate, safe, and they take the lead. Just a huge at bat right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hit coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Two outs, runner on first. And digging in for Philadelphia, Bryson Stock. That one finds the zone. Oh, going one. One. Iglesias, 33 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Oh. Had a good eye there. 
Top of the zone for a strike. And a count one and two. Boom. The runner at first with two gone. Ground ball, Olsen. Takes it himself. Third out, and that ends the frame. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Phil. Craig Kimbrell gets the call from the pen. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. In the air, right side of the infield. Stop. Makes the grab one away. Well, such a confidence boost now, for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Albies, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. Home team down a run. Here, yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. One and two here. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. That one misses. Three and two now. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Next offering is fouled back. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. ball right side and that's just foul and time called at the plate maybe trying to slow things down here at a crucial spot and a pitch fouled off again and it remains three and two definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside really think the outer half is open Swings and misses, struck him out. The Braves down to their last out. Austin Riley next up for the Braves. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And there's a ball. In the air, out towards left center. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Well, three inning games are pretty exciting, and this one did not disappoint. Tons of offense, but it came down to just one run. This was a wild one.